DC News Now's weekend anchor Ben Dennis is price checking the quick ways to cool off right now. Yeah, plus how to beat the heat with what you already have at home. Uh, what do you have for us today? Ben? <laughs> well, as Damon had said, if you think it's stifling now, wait until next week. Indeed, the last thing that anybody wants is to feel uncomfortable in the comfort of their own home. While there are quick ways to cool off for less, start with what's already indoors. Bearing the unbearable heat, feeling scorned by a scorcher, Consumers can turn down the temperature during the summer months, whether you're without AC or you're looking to cut energy costs. Take time to shop around and price check quick fixes to keep cash in your wallet. Visit a local hardware store and you can find small units, but take a photo. Compare similar products online. Google's lens feature will find them for you. And if you've downloaded browser extensions, they'll likely find you better prices. Check out Lowe's and Home Depot, for example. Plenty of options. 89 bucks for the lowest priced portable AC unit at Lowe's, $65 at Home Depot. Window air conditioners will run you over $100. There are plenty of brands and price differences between Lowe's and Home Depot, Walmart too. But long term, consider Energy Star labeled products. The feds recognize them for energy efficiency. Turn on that ceiling fan. The U.S. Natural Resource Defense Council says it will feel 10 degrees cooler and use just 10% of the energy needed for central air. And what to do with other existing appliances. Clean air filters. Opt for LED bulbs. Move heat-emitting devices away from thermostats. Turn off lights and products you don't use. And there's some more advice here. Go ahead and call your utility provider. Ask about some discounts. They may offer programs to cut costs. There will be income and disability eligibility requirements to follow. Plus, weatherization programs can also bring along some discounts. Ben Dennis, back to you.